I've recently got a lot of questions about when to sell a naked put and when not to sell a naked put. So I thought in this video, let's take the opportunity to deep dive into naked puts and I'm gonna show you exactly when not to sell a naked put. Let's dive in. So with the naked put, all you're doing is you're just giving someone else the right, but not the obligation to sell you shares, 100 shares per contract at a certain price by a certain date. So for example, just a quick example, you sold the $130 naked put in Apple and by expiration, the price of Apple's at 125. You just bought 100 shares of Apple at 130. So now to dive into when not to sell a naked put, there are two main things you need to consider when looking at selling a naked put. And we're gonna dive into both of those right now. Number one, you need to consider volatility. Volatility is mean reverting and premium prices climb when volatility climbs. So if you can time it right, you can sell your naked put into a volatility increase, get paid a little bit more, and then wait for that volatility to shrink back down. And number two is just sheer price action. If a stock's up five days in a row, you want to be careful because that stock will likely drop at some point and breathe. Stocks like to move in waves. They like to push up and then they pull back. Then they push up, then they pull back. So if you sell a naked put into a big strong up move, you could run into problems because it might breathe back on you, which will be bad for your naked put. So why don't we dive into the charts? Let's look at the trading platform and let me show you why I think these two things, this volatility and price action are so important when looking to sell a naked put. All right, we're in the Tastyworks trading platform and I've got Invax up. And I wanna show you why these two things are so important when you're looking to sell a naked put. So the first thing we talked about was volatility. So let's dive a little deeper into that real quick. And on the Tastyworks platform, it's really nice because I can type in a ticker like Invax and then dot IVR. And what this does is this is going to chart the volatility for us. This is really helpful because say you see Novavax pushing way up high like this, you can say to yourself, oh, options prices are probably higher. I should sell a naked call, a naked put, a spread, whatever. But then you can see that it, dro it dropped way back down. So this might not be as good of a time to sell a naked put. So what I'm looking at right here is we had a push up over a few days, over three days, then a big, big pull pullback. And that was on Friday. Invax had a big volatility crush on Friday. And then this morning, it kind of pushed back up like it wanted to move higher, but the price of Invax started to move much higher, which caused the volatility to, to gently drop. So right now our volatility is actually declining our IV rank in Invax. So the premium prices are actually gonna be going lower today. Now I was hoping to make you a video showing you my newest Invax position because after all, we are tracking the wheel strategy and this is my wheel account. If you haven't seen my wheel video, it's right here. This account is just for the wheel strategy and I was wanting to start another wheel because Invax expired. My naked put expired on Friday. I collected the $510. I can show that to you right here on Invax. Let's go back to Invex. So you can see I collected $5.10 and I kept the full premium because I let it expire as you can see here. So that's over, I'm all cash and I'm ready to dive back in. But then I open up my chart today and look what I'm seeing. I'm seeing Novavax raging four days in a row. So when volatility is dropping and price action is climbing, it just doesn't make as much sense to sell the put. Now with the volatility, that makes sense. Option prices are lower, so it makes it less appealing. You wanna wait for an increase in vol to sell that premium because you'll get paid more. So we get that. But then you might be asking, Jimmy, why does price action matter? Why, does it, why do you care if it's up or down? Well, the reason I care is because if you get four candles, four big green day candles in a row, at some point, Novavax is gonna have a pullback. It's gonna breathe, like here. Up, up, and then breathe, breathe, breathe. You get uh, up, up, little breath. Up, up, little breath. Up, up, little breath. So what I'm saying is, if you get four big days in a row that are green, likelihood is if you sell your put here, you might go red on the position because it might pull back and have a breather. So I would rather sell the put into a, into a breath that it takes. So if it puts in a red day or has a down move, say early in the morning, it opens up, stock drops, that's a good time to put it on because you're getting a move down, which is allowing you to get lower in price 
at the same delta. So right now, if I open up the trade tab and we go 11 days out, if I sell this 170 for $400, what if we drop $10 tomorrow? Then I'd be able to sell the 160 for the same price, for the same $4, because we're $10 lower, which slants things in my favor. Now, the thing that I need to tell you about, this is probably the most important part of this, is we have to put the volatility and the price action together. And, they, and you do that by considering the following. When prices drop, fear increases. When fear increases, volatility increases. When volatility increases, premium prices increase. Premium is basically a monitor or a graph of fear. So when fear is higher, you're gonna get better premium prices. In the unwind in 2020 during COVID, that was unbelievable. Premium prices were so high, you could sell anything for thousands of dollars. It was unbelievable. But now there's not as much fear in the market, so things have calmed back down. Premium prices are now lower. With Novavax, if it takes a big old slam to the downside, premium prices are gonna climb. So not only am I gonna get a lower price for whatever Delta trade I pick, I'm also gonna get increasing volatility, which is gonna give me more premium. So it all kind of ties together and it's really nice with puts because when prices drop, that's when you want to sell your puts. On the call side, it's not the same way because when prices rise, volatility tends to drop. So it doesn't work the same way. So naked puts are really unique in that when you get a favorable move before you put the trade on, you can actually get paid more because of that down move. So selling puts, I'm not doing it today, I'm gonna wait. My game plan is to wait until tomorrow, see if we get a move to the downside at all. Even if it's a couple bucks in the morning, that's fine, just to get any kind of down move, to get a little bit of fear and a little bit of premium hike in the market. So we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. I will keep you posted. I was hoping to film me putting on that trade, selling the naked put so that I could start the next wheel, but it didn't happen. If it happens tomorrow, then expect a video very soon on that because I want to keep you posted on everything I do in this account. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you all have a great trading week. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing or grabbing a channel membership by hitting the join button. Hit that like button if you got any value out of this, and I'll see you in the next video.